well there's little two cast bars <coughs> i've allowed them to cool naturally and they're ready to come out of the molds now just want to say a quick word uh, i was inspired to do this video after watching one of my good friend rob over on the zenudu youtube channel one of his latest videos where he uh, cast some extruded aluminium which uh, i think he picked it up at the side of the road but yeah it cast fine but it just would not machine it was really horrible stuff and um, and he in the end he couldn't use it well it just so happens that Oh, quite some time ago now, I was given some offcuts of extruded aluminium. This aluminium was used to make frames for solar panels. And the guy, the mate of mine said, well, would you like these bits? We're just going to throw them away. And I said, yeah, sure. And basically I hadn't done anything with them, but Rob's video inspired me to have a go at casting them to see whether they were any good. Because obviously he had trouble. It, basically the aluminium that he cast once he tried to machine it, it just was, was useless. So I thought, well, we'll give this a go. Well, this stuff melted superbly. There was very little dross on the top of the melt and it poured nice. So um, now it's time to see you know, how easy it will come out of these, <laughs> out of the mold. So, oh yes. Well, you can't ask for better than that. Can you? <laughs> I wonder if the other one's going to be as easy. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Okay. Well, this is this is just thick walled steel tube, seamless. Uh, well, you really do need to use seamless. But yes, I would have to say that that, that one is particularly has come out superbly. Um, very little shrinkage. Uh, this one, not quite as not quite as good, but you know, I mean, it's just hopefully that's just the surface. We'll um, see what they they machine like. But uh, yeah, it's looking promising at the moment. Okay, well, we've got it chucked up and uh, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Right, let's try that. Light cut to start with. Oh, doesn't look too bad. Let's go for a bit more deeper cut. Not too bad at all. I'm going to speed down a little bit instead. We'll try that. That's looking better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Right, let's uh, let's uh, do a little bit more, and we'll come back. Well, it's certainly not the best quality aluminium that I've ever machined, but I'll bring you in. You can have a look at it. It's certainly not as bad as the stuff that uh, Rob was <laughs> Rob had. So let's have a look. Let's move you around a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this is actually perfectly acceptable finish. I mean, it's not ultra shiny, but it's it's it doesn't feel powdery or anything like that. It feels nice and smooth, and that would be surface perfectly acceptable you know, for model making stuff like that. So, obviously, there's extruded aluminium, and then there's extruded aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i hope you found this interesting uh, i'm certainly i've got loads of this stuff so i'm quite pleased it's turned out <laughs> okay uh, i need to cast up some more bars now but uh, yeah that turned out all right okay well that about wraps it up <coughs> i did a bit more machining on this one and i think you can tell that that's that's actually not bad at all you know i mean it's not perfect i mean this is it, it, it's lovely and smooth and it's not powdery but uh, you know, I've had better, I've had better aluminium that I've cast and machine, but this is perfectly usable. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I need to have face the end off fully on that one. But uh, 
yeah so i'm i've obviously been a bit luckier than rob on this one because <laughs> this extruded aluminium is obviously okay so anyway there you go quick video on uh, casting some extruded aluminium uh, offcuts hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching cheers <laughs>